Guest Video Robert Swain Gifford and Frederick Thompson This video is a guest video. In order to find the video use the name of the video and search in YouTube. The Thompson Gifford Case, a documentary by Dr. Keith Parsons. The YouTube algorithms appeared to take exception to us providing links to third-party videos and at one stage deleted not only the links, but our entire channel. We have since recreated the channel but are very hesitant about providing internet links. About the video. This case was investigated by James Hislop, formerly Professor of Logic and Ethics at Columbia University. It is an apparent case of automatic painting, where the American artist, Robert Swain Gifford, who died in 1905, appeared to influence a professional goldsmith, Frederick L. Thompson. It is thus also a case of after-death communication, as Gifford contacted Thompson in 1905, six months after he had died. The objective of the communication was, it was reported, to instruct Thompson to complete some of Gifford's, can you not take up and finish my work? But Thompson did not take the unfinished canvases Gifford had left around his studio after he died aged 65, but painted new ones. And indeed Thompson's paintings are reminiscent of Swain's style, this is a Thompson painting, which was to simply paint pleasant realistic copies of actual views, much in the manner of a photographer. This is a Gifford painting. But by the late 1880s, George Eastman had invented a personal camera, so Swain Gifford's style of picture was gradually losing its market. And not all Thompson's paintings appear to be in Gifford's style. And as Dr. Parsons then relates, his story ends in court cases, lawsuits, and even lunacy. So this is not an open and shut case. Was he just an aspiring painter unable to make the grade at a time when such paintings were not wanted? Or a lunatic possessed by an unknown spirit? But Gifford's works still have interest. As accurate records of places and things from a different age. And they remain visually compelling and enjoyable to this day.